So today we are continuing to learn how to multiply and our success criteria today, in other words, what I would like you to do by the end of the lesson is I can use partitioning. Now we've looked at that before, that's when you split up a number into, uh, for example, tens and units or hundred tens and units. So I can use partitioning to times, which is another word for multiply, a two-digit number by a one-digit number. So a two-digit number is something like 36, and a one-digit number is something like 9. We have been getting more and more confident with our multiplication um, skills. Okay, This is just something today, it's a mental strategy. We're using partitioning, but you're allowed to use jottings if you need to. If you feel confident enough to do it all, all in your head, that's absolutely fine. Let's take an example here. Now, this is a ladybird, okay, or a ladybug. Um, and it's in a shop and it costs 23 pence for one, okay? Now, I actually want to buy three of these. So I'm going to put them up there. And most of you will have already worked out the calculation. Because we want to buy three, we need to work out three lots of 23 pence. So here's our two digit number, here's our one digit number, okay? So we're going to multiply each partition and then add the products. So first of all, let's start with the tens. So this two here is worth 20 pence. So I'm gonna write 20 pence times by three equals. Now you've already done some work on multiplying a multiple of 10 and 20 is a multiple of 10 by a single digit. We said there was a shortcut to this. We said we could use number facts that we knew. So we know that three times two is six. But because 20 is 10 times bigger, we add a zero to the answer. So we've worked out, I'm going to tick that off the tens. We now need to work out what three lots of three are. So we're partitioning and we're concentrating on the units. Three times three. And again, remember, if you are still struggling with your times tables, um, you can use the multiplication grid. Or you can draw pictures such as arrays or groupings, or you can use a number line or count in groups in your fingers. Three times three is nine. Okay, and we've done the ones. So now we need to add the products. Now, again, as I've said previously, some of you might be able to do all of this in your head, but if you need to do a jotting, you could then draw lines like this because you would now need to add these. And you could do a chimney sum, or you could imagine the chimney sum in your head, or draw a number line. Zero add nine would be um, nine pence. Six add zero, or six tens add zero, or sixty add zero. Okay, so the answer would be sixty-nine pence. Okay, let's do a slightly harder one. I'm going to introduce you to my. Hedgehog. There he is. Harry the Hedgehog. Okay. And he's a little bit more expensive. Okay. So I'm going to pop him to the back a little bit. He's actually uh, 72 pence. And I would like to buy five. So I'm imagining myself I'm using a real life example in the shop, okay? So 72 pence times five, because we want five lots of 72 pence, okay? That's our multiplication calculation. We put the equal sign. As I said before, we're going to partition. So we're going to look at the tens column first. So seven tens equals 70 pence, it's the same thing and we're working out five lots of 70 pence. And again, because 70 times five is quite tricky, we can do five times seven first of all. Have a think. If you find the seven times table harder, 
you can do seven lots of five. The answer is 35. So because you've just worked out, <clears throat> excuse me, five lots of 70, <coughs> sorry guys, because we've just worked out five times seven, which is 35, all we need to do now is to work out what five times 70 is, is to add that zero there. Now we're actually dealing with money in this case, and we wouldn't normally say 350 pence. You guys know by now, so this is a little bit of revision. You would pop a pound sign in there and a decimal point, okay? So we've done the 10 pences. Now we go to this column, which is the ones or the units, okay? And we're going to do this one. So it's two pence times five, okay? Five times two is 10 pence. Now be careful here, it's 10 pence. So it should go, the one should go under the five and the zero should go under the zero because we haven't got any pounds in our answer, okay? I'm gonna tick that off because we've done the two pence. Now, um, again, some of you might be able to work out um, what the total is of three pound 50 and 10, but just in case you wanted to do an addition um, as a column addition, um, remember your first thing to do would be to put your decimal point in, making sure it's a nice straight line. Zero, add zero is zero. Five add one is six. Three add zero is three, okay? So the total answer, if I wanted to buy five hedgehogs at 72 pence, and let's face it, why would you not, would be £3.60. Okay, good luck with your calculations today.